Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up a safe throttle on your Turner G TGY9X radio. It is slightly different to the how you do it with the Jumper T16. Uh, obviously I think this is because this is an earlier version of OpenTX. So let's switch over to the computer. I've already opened up my backup of my radio so I'm going to go to the canary and we are going to set the safe throttle up in there. The first thing we need to do is set up curves. So we are going to change the curves here to three points. Now with the jumper T16 you can actually just have two points but this one we have three. So we're going to set three points and all we need to do is drag down the curve until we get a flat curve and that's everything we need to do there. We're now going to go to logical switches. In here we need to set up three lines. Now with the jumper T16 you only need to set up two. Now in the L1 we are looking for A is smaller than X. We need in V1 we need to put throttle not in capitals but THR and our value needs to be minus 98. The second line we need to put in OR L1 and then L2. And in the fourth column we need to put L3. Okay, if we go down to the next line we are going to again pick A is smaller than X. In here we need to put THR with a capital and the value here, beg your pardon, the value there needs to be 100. Okay, that's everything we need to do in the logical switches. Now we need to go through and add in on our inputs a line to the throttle. First we need to calibrate the first line of the throttle so we highlight, double click and in here we need 100, we did expo 0, we need to change the switch to L2. And stick side can be all, we're going to say OK. Now we need to add a line to the throttle, a second line. We highlight and we say add. Now in here we need again the weight to be 100. We need to, in the curve, we need to pick curve and then the curve that we set up, which was curve one. The switch here must be active L1. So we need to find the active L1. There we go, and stick side is all. That should be everything we need to do. Now we can test to see if our safe throttle is actually working. Let's go and simulate the radio. Okay, so if we turn the arm switch to disarmed, nothing should work. You can see channel three is not working. And if we now pull the stick down, arm, now we can see we can fly our aeroplane. If we now disarm again and we accidentally leave our throttle up and then we arm, nothing's happening. So, but if we go down and then go back up, we will now be able to fly our aeroplane and the motor will arm. So this is a safe throttle. We don't have the option in this version of OpenTX to have a delay so that when we drop the throttle down, it has to be down for a certain amount of time before we can then go back up and the motor will start. This will start immediately. And you can see if I pull the throttle down, we are disarmed, I arm, and then I come down. As soon as I go to the bottom, it will allow the throttle to work. You saw L1, L2 and L3 become active. It's quite a good idea to set up a safe throttle because if you accidentally left your throttle on halfway and then you armed 
the plane, the motor is going to spin up to 50% of its speed, which would be quite dangerous. So it's worth the effort of setting up this safe throttle. I'll now switch over to the radio to show you how to set it up on the radio. Now let's set up the safe throttle on the radio itself. Okay, we're on the right radio. We're going to hit the minus button and go over to the model selection. First thing we have to do is set up a curve. And we're going to go to curves, go down, and then menu to edit. If we hold the menu key down, you'll see we go over to the points. Now, I think we could still use five points. So let's just move them all down. Would have been a lot quicker if I changed it to three, but there we go. And then it menu and exit. So there we go, exit. So the curve is now set up. If we go back in there, you can see the line is right at the bottom. Okay, we exit. Next thing we need to do is the logical switches. Oops, escape, escape, escape. Okay, we need to go to the logical switches. There we go. And we need to set those up now. Okay, so we're gonna to go to L1 and in there, we need to find A is smaller than X. There it is. The next line has to be menu THR. Whoops, a daisy, THR the lowercase. The next line has to be minus 98. Okay, and the next column we leave empty. So push escape, we go down to the next line. Now in the next line, we need or, so menu, or, hit menu, move over. We need then L1, L2, and L3. L1, L2, and L3. Next line. We need here, again, A is smaller than X, so hit the menu key. There we go. The next line has to be throttle, but with capital letters. There we go. And in here, we need to put a plus 100. And menu, then that's everything we need to set up in the logical switches. So we hit menu, go back to the top and now we are going to move back to the inputs oops a daisy too far there we go and in here we have to adjust the throttle line so we're going to go down hit menu and in the first one we need to still have 100 in expo we need zero and we just need to go down to the switch and select L2. L2. And okay, we can make this.
and there we go that's that for that line so we exit now here you need to tap the menu key once move down tap the menu key again and now we've got our second line and to edit we hit menu and in here we need to go down to the curve push the menu button and we have got to find curve one whoops a daisy curve one the switch has to be activated l1 so that's important that we choose the right one activated l1 push menu exit and we should be all good now we can now test if the safe throttle is working by pushing up 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 and we'll come to the inputs now you can see the throttle is working okay because we're armed disarm throttle not working leave throttle up arm throttle not working come down back up throttle is working and there we go it's now set up on the radio Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video interesting. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really found it interesting, please subscribe to my channel. And please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Disarm motor.